Moro Iwadzizi, welcome back to yet another Shona lesson, Tiga Shiri. In today's lesson, we are going to learn how to ask questions about actions that happened in the past, whether it's immediate past or far away uh, past, whether it's earlier, today, or yesterday, last week, last year. So I'm going to take you through how you do that. And also here and there, I'll give you example responses. So I've selected a few example verbs, which we are going to go over. And by the end of the lesson, you should be able to ask questions using any other and any other verbs i would also encourage you to watch a video that i did on the 400 plus common shona verbs they can help you now to practice when you're making questions or you are practicing the language because you know what for you to be able to speak the language at the end of the day you need to practice practice by yourself practice with other people there is no time wasted in practicing. Eventually, you will be able to speak the language. Okay, so let's get on to it. The first verb that I have is kugara. Kugara means to leave or to stay. So how do you ask someone, where did you leave? Waigara kupi. Waigara kupi. Where did you live or where did you stay? Okay. Another way of asking where did you live, but implying that where exactly were you staying, which places did you stay, is wakagara kupi. Wakagara kupi. In English, there is no differentiation, but in Shona, there is a, a, a difference. Wakagara kupi. Where did you stay? So in this instance, someone is asking for a specific place where you stayed. Wanga uchigara kupi. Wanga uchigara kupi. Wanga uchigara kupi is usually asked when someone wants to know where you were staying when such and such an event happened. Or where were you staying when this and that happened? So they would say, Wanga uchigara kopi. Where were you staying? Where were you living? And how would you respond to that, that question? You would say, Ndaigara ku London. Ndaigara ku Botswana. Ndaigara ku Harare. That's how you would, you would uh, respond. There are variations. You could say, Ndangan chigara ku harare. Or, Ndaigara ku harare. It means the same. As long as, as long as it's not a Shona examination, you are just speaking, you can use those two variations interchangeably. It's perfectly okay. You don't need to crack your head about it. The next verb that I have for you is um, to go. Kuyenda. Kuyenda means to go. Wakaenda kupi. Where did you go? Wakaenda kupi. Perhaps someone is asking you after a vacation and then you come back, you are narrating the events of the vacation and they are asking, so where did you go? Which places do you, did you visit? Wakaenda kupi. Saka wakaenda kupi. And then you would answer, ndakaenda ku Table Mountain, ndikazoenda ku Victoria Falls, ndikazoenda ku... You'll be answering that. Why yenda kupi? Why yenda kupi? Why yenda kupi means... Where were you going? Where were you going? I was going to my mother's house. Ndaienda kumba kwa maivangu. Ndaienda kuchikoro. I was going to school. Ndaienda kushamari yangu. I was going to my friends. Ndaienda ku. Waienda kopi. Where were you going? Ndaienda ku, name of the place. 
wanga uchienda kupi wanga uchienda kupi remember wanga is asked when when there is another action or there is another event that took place where were you going when i saw you where were you going at 10 o'clock where were you going when such and such a thing happened so wanga uchienda kupi wanga uchienda kupi paya paya where were you going there when i saw you wanga uchienda kupi another verb that i have is kutaura to speak kutaura to speak remember ku is the prefix which means to and the base of the verb or the root of the verb is taura how do you ask someone who were you talking to why taura nani why taura nani who were you talking to why taura nani and the person would answer ndai taura na and names the person they were talking to ndai taura na okay another way of asking waka taura nani waka taura nani to whom did you speak to waka taura nani and they would say ndaka taura na baba wake i spoke to her father ndaka taura na amai wake i spoke to her mother ndaka taura na tendai i spoke to tendai waka taura nani to whom did you speak to okay what about if there is an action or something that was happening during this action of speaking you want to ask someone wanga uchi taura nani to whom were you speaking to when this and that happened to whom were you speaking when this and this happened to whom were you speaking to when i came in wanga uchi taura nani panda shika to whom were you speaking to when i arrived wanga uchi taura nani the next verb that i have is to cook kubika kubika to cook you want to ask someone what were you cooking you'd say why bika chi what were you cooking why bika chi what were you cooking all right and the person will say ndai bika whatever they were cooking ndai bika sadza ndai bika muriwo meaning i was cooking vegetables what did you cook wakamika chi wakamika chi wakamika chi what did we cook it means wakamika way before way, what did you cook nezuro yesterday what did you cook and what about if you want to ask someone what they've cooked today or earlier on what did you cook what did you cook today you would say wabika chi wabika chi wabika chi what were you cooking when such and such a thing happened you would say wanga uchibika chi wanga uchibika chi what were you cooking wanga uchibika chi to take kutora to take kutora okay let's start with the simple one let's say you want to say uh, what did he take what did he take today what did he take today atora chi atora chi what did he take today 
or earlier on during the day. And if you want to ask, what did he take yesterday and beyond, yesterday, last week, last year, you say, Aka Tora Chi. Aka Tora Chi. Okay, let's see another way of asking. I Tora Chi. I Tora, what was he taking? I indicate that it was an action which was happening continuously, but it happened in the past. I Tora Chi. And then the person would answer, I Tora Vanavake. I Tora Vanavake means he was taking his children or she was taking her children. I Tora Shinrake, she was taking her things. I Tora, she was taking or he was taking. Anga Achi Tora Chi, what was she taking or what was he taking? When you encountered her or when this and that happened, anga achitora chi, kutraga. Kutraga means to look for or to search for, to look for something or to search for something. So how do you say, who was he looking for? Who was he looking for? You'd say, aitraga ani. Who was he looking for? I chaga ani. I chaga ani. Okay? And to say, who did he look for? Who did he look for? You say, Aka chaga ani. Aka chaga ani. Who did he look for? And this is uh, if it's, it happened yesterday or beyond. If it's today, the, it happened in the past, but it's today. You, you would ask like, a chaga ani, a chaga ani, meaning he did the searching, the looking today, but it's in the past. A chaga ani, pauya, when he came, a chaga ani, who did he look for? When he came, who did he look for? A chaga ani, okay? And when you say, when you ask this way, like, anga, Achichaga ani. Anga achichaga ani. It means you want to know who was being looked for. Who was this person looking for when this thing happened? Or when you encountered them? Or when you bumped into them? Who were they looking for? Anga achichaga ani. And the answer would be Anga achichaga imboyake. Anga achichaga mwanawake. Anga achichaga amaivake. Anga achichaga someone, someone. That's it for today's lesson. That's all I have for you today. I hope it uh, was clear and is going to help you improve your Shona speaking. Remember, that's the goal of this channel. The goal of this channel is to help you understand and to speak Shona fluently and clearly. So I hope this lesson is achieved to do that. So, if you haven't already done so, I would like to remind you to please subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. Share it with your friends who are also learning Shona. Leave a like and perhaps leave a comment to say, Hi, Muzidzisi, Moro Muzidzisi. I would really appreciate that. So, see you in the next one.